Have you ever wondered if the world's end might be caused not by a massive visible disaster, but by something unseen, microscopic even? Imagine a world teeming with life, but one that's invisible to the naked eye. A world where the smallest creatures wield the power to reshape our lives in unimaginable ways. Yes, we're talking about the microscopic world of viruses and bacteria, the unseen forces that can impact our world in ways more significant than we often realize. These tiny organisms are everywhere. They're in the air we breathe, on the surfaces we touch, and inside our bodies. They are so minute, a single droplet of water can hold millions of them. And yet, they have the power to change the course of history. But don't be alarmed just yet. Not all bacteria and viruses are harmful. In fact, many of them are vital for our survival. They help us digest our food, protect us from disease, and even shape our behavior. However, when they turn hostile, the consequences can be severe. They can trigger pandemics, wipe out species, and disrupt ecosystems. Think about the Black Death that swept across Europe in the 14th century, killing one-third of the population. Or the Spanish Flu of 1918 that infected one-third of the world's population. And let's not forget the recent COVID-19 pandemic that has brought the world to a standstill. All these catastrophes were caused not by visible threats, but by invisible organisms. But how do these tiny creatures cause such large-scale destruction? How do they spread? multiply, and evolve? And most importantly, how can we protect ourselves from them? These are the questions we'll be exploring as we delve into the fascinating and sometimes frightening world of viruses and bacteria. So let's dive into this invisible world and discover the power of the smallest life forms on Earth. Scene script, viruses, the tiny non-living entities that have the power to bring the world to its knees. Welcome to the world of viruses, a realm of infinitesimal invaders that are, paradoxically, neither living nor dead. These microscopic entities exist on the edge of life, poised in a state of suspended animation until they encounter a suitable host. To understand a virus, think of it as an alien spacecraft. The outer layer, called the capsid, is like a protective shell, often spherical or rod-shaped and sometimes enveloped in a lipid layer, much like a cloak of invisibility. Inside this shell is the virus's genetic material, its instructions for invasion and replication, encoded either in DNA or RNA. Unlike cells, viruses lack the machinery to replicate on their own. They are the ultimate parasites, relying entirely on the cells they invade for reproduction. Once inside a cell, a virus sheds its protective shell and uses its genetic material to hijack the cell's machinery, forcing it to produce copies of the virus. This process can damage or kill the host cell, leading to disease. Let's consider some of the most infamous viruses that have plagued humanity. First up is Ebola, a ruthless killer with a fatality rate of up to 90%. Named after the Ebola River in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where it was first identified, this virus causes severe fever, bleeding, and organ failure. Next we have HIV, the virus responsible for AIDS. It targets the immune system, specifically the T-cells that help the body fight off diseases. Over time, HIV can destroy so many of these cells that the body can't defend itself against infections and diseases, leading to the onset of AIDS. Last, but certainly not least, is influenza, a virus that needs no introduction. While not as deadly as Ebola or HIV, the flu still claims hundreds of thousands of lives each year. It's a master of mutation, constantly changing its genetic structure to evade our immune systems and vaccines. These viruses and many others have caused untold suffering and death, yet they are not evil. They are simply fulfilling their biological imperative to replicate, oblivious to the destruction they cause. Despite their menacity, viruses have an enormous impact on our world. They have shaped human history, influencing population growth, migrations, and wars. They have spurred scientific advancements, leading to the development of vaccines and antiviral drugs. They are also a reminder of our interconnectedness, as a virus can spread from a remote village to a bustling city halfway across the globe in mere days. The ability of these minuscule entities to cause such devastation is truly mind-boggling, isn't it? Now let's turn our attention to the other microscopic threat, bacteria. Bacteria are remarkable creatures. Despite being infinitesimally tiny, they are exceptionally powerful and diverse. Picture a bustling metropolis with millions of residents going about their daily routines. That's your body and the bacteria are the city's inhabitants. These microscopic organisms are everywhere. They're on your skin, in your gut, and even in the air you breathe. They are more numerous than the cells in your body. In fact, for every one of your cells, there are at least 10 bacterial cells. That's right, you're more bacteria than human. But don't let that fact scare you. Most of these bacteria are harmless, or even beneficial. 
They help you digest food, protect you from harmful pathogens, and even regulate your immune system. It's a delicate balance, a symbiotic relationship that keeps us healthy. However, not all bacteria are friendly. Some can cause serious illnesses. Take for example methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, more commonly known as MRSA. It's resistant to many antibiotics, making infections difficult to treat. Another notorious bacteria is Escherichia coli or E. coli, which can cause severe food poisoning and even kidney failure. Bacteria can be deviously clever. They evolve rapidly, developing resistance to the antibiotics we use to fight them. It's a biological arms race, and sometimes they're winning. The rise of superbugs, bacteria resistant to multiple antibiotics, is a serious global health threat. But how do these microscopic organisms cause such havoc? Well, they multiply quickly, and some produce toxins that damage tissues and organs. Others invade host cells and use them as factories to reproduce. And remember, they evolve quickly. So, if an antibiotic doesn't kill all of the bacteria, the survivors can mutate and become resistant. The danger doesn't stop there. Bacteria can also be weaponized. In the past, diseases like the plague caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis wiped out a third of Europe's population in the 14th century. Today, with advances in genetic engineering, bacteria could be manipulated to become even more lethal. But it's not all doom and gloom. Scientists are continually developing new ways to combat bacterial infections. They're exploring novel antibiotics, refining diagnostic tools, and even using bacteria to fight bacteria. Yes, you heard it right. Some bacteria produce compounds that can kill other bacteria. Harnessing this power could be a game changer in our war against these microscopic foes. So, while bacteria are tiny, they are certainly not insignificant. They can be our greatest allies or our worst enemies. And as we continue to delve into the bacterial universe, we learn more about these fascinating organisms, unlocking new ways to coexist and combat them. As we can see, bacteria, though generally helpful, can also be a formidable foe. So how do we wage a war against entities we cannot see? A pertinent question indeed. This invisible war is fought on multiple fronts, vaccines, antibiotics, and public health measures each playing a crucial role in our battle against microscopic invaders. Let's start with vaccines. These medical marvels are our primary line of defense against viruses. Vaccines work by training our immune system to recognize and combat specific viruses. They introduce a harmless piece of the virus, such as a protein, into our bodies. Our immune system, ever diligent, springs into action, learning how to fight off this new invader. So when we encounter the actual virus, our body is ready and equipped to deal with the threat, making us immune. Next up, antibiotics, our main weapons against bacteria. Unlike vaccines, antibiotics don't prevent infections. Rather, they treat bacterial infections once they've taken hold. They work by either killing bacteria outright or by inhibiting their growth, allowing our immune system to finish the job. However, it's important to remember that antibiotics are effective against bacteria, not viruses. Lastly, we have public health measures. These are the strategies implemented to prevent the spread of diseases in the community. These measures include quarantining, promoting hand hygiene, and encouraging the use of protective gear like masks. While they might seem simple, these measures have proven to be highly effective in controlling the spread of diseases, especially during pandemics. Even though we can't see them, we found ways to fight against viruses and bacteria. We've developed vaccines to prevent viral infections, antibiotics to treat bacterial ones, and public health measures to control their spread. But the battle isn't over yet. The microscopic world is constantly evolving, and new threats emerge all the time. But don't despair. Remember, we've come a long way in our understanding of these microscopic entities. With continued research and advancement in medical science, we're better equipped to face these challenges. After all, knowledge is our best weapon in this microscopic war. What does the future hold in our battle against these microscopic threats? While the battle against these invisible foes may seem harrowing, the future is not bleak. The field of microbiology is in a constant state of evolution, with countless researchers dedicating their lives to understanding and combating these microorganisms. Imagine a world where we can predict the outbreak of a new virus before it even occurs, or a future where bacteria can be engineered to fight against their harmful counterparts. This is not science fiction. It's the reality being built in labs around the world. The science is complex, but the goal is simple. A healthier, safer future for all. Potential breakthroughs are on the horizon, from advanced detection methods to new forms of vaccines, the weapons in our arsenal are growing. And with every passing day, our understanding of these microscopic threats deepens, bringing us one step closer to winning this battle. But science alone cannot win this fight. Public awareness and understanding are equally crucial. Knowledge is power, 
and in this battle, it could mean the difference between health and disease. As we continue to learn more about these microorganisms, it is our responsibility to share this knowledge, to dispel myths and foster understanding. Though the battle is tough, with science and awareness on our side, we can hope for a healthier future. The world of viruses and bacteria is complex and often intimidating, yet we've seen that understanding these microscopic warriors is key to our survival. We've unmasked their invisible threat, delved into their intricate worlds, and explored our ongoing battle against them. As we look to the future, let's arm ourselves with knowledge and curiosity. If you enjoyed this journey into the microscopic world and want to learn more about such fascinating topics, do subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content. Remember, knowledge is power.